everyone, we're back. It's all eats. We're doing worse. We're doing worse burger shops, lad. Worst burgers, lad. Imagine this is gonna be Utrox, lad. Listen, we're in Macquarie Park, the first place. This is the worst of the worst, apparently. It got a two-star rating. Two-star on Google reviews. Listen, it's it's called, what's the place called? Burger Bites? Burgers with Bites. Burgers with Bites. The place is called Burgers with Bites. It's inside this coffee club in Macquarie Park. Apparently, as it is the worst food imaginable, fake meats, it's cold, this and that. So we're going from here, from this place, Burgers with Bite. After that, we're going to War Burgers. That's at Circular Key in the city, is that correct? All right, full OG, apparently. Slide and shake in Neutral Bay. Then Burger Barrel at Kuji. That's the path we are taking. We're starting here, bro. Let's cut, I'll be back. GoPro, of course, car's secret camera. The old coffee club. Apparently, it's underneath a Holiday Inn. Look, brother, they got a little burger store, burgers with bite in there. This is what they said, right? So I went in there, how weird is this? I said, have you got burgers, this and that, right? She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, like, are you burgers with bite? Is it in this store? She goes, yeah, burgers with bite is in this store, but that menu is only orderable on uh, Uber. So if you order it on Uber, then you can come in and pick it up. So what a weird, like, weird system. But anyway, let's do it. Off, you idiots. I don't have menu log. No menu log. Yeah. I'm already very annoyed and disappointed at the process of getting burgers from this place. How do you make burgers in a store and then you go to them and say, nah, that's the other menu, that's the internet menu. Go on your phone and order the burgers for $21 and then pick it up off me. What's that shit? Anyway, right? I gotta clear the negativity so I have an unbiased review. All right, order confirmed. When do I go pick it up? Beautiful. I'll wait over there for it. There's only one anyway. Hey, listen. I got their lot beef burger and a chicken burger. Two burgers, it was $38. Two burgers, $38, lad. Look, 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 look. It's over in, right, buzz? All right, round two of going in here after I've left the premises to order on my phone. Bro, you know what I'm gonna do? I thought of the maddest idea. See my cameraman? I can see him standing over there. I'm gonna get the, the burgers. I think they're ready now. And when I walk back over, I'll act like it's a full ill chair. I'll say, run, run. I'll just sprint. I'll make them full sprint. Unray, unray. Trust me, unray. Unray. Fucking <laughs> unray, lad. <laughs> I know none of the complaints were about dirtiness of the place or service or anything. They were polite. The place was clean. Forgive me, I'm puffed from the run maneuver. The complaints are solely about the bodgy burgers. So let's see how bodgy they are. So what I've done is I've got a beef burger and a chicken burger. Two birds with one stone, let's suss it out. $21 for this burger, automatically. What are you? What are you? Get this little parasite off my burger. What is this? Yuck. Meat patty and egg, bacon, but there's everything on this. I don't know, cuz, see what it tastes like. Bro, that bread is dry as, what is that bread? Brother. Mm. That's some bad bread. That bread is bad. The meat patty is really bad quality. It's super salty. The bacon smells all right, tastes all right. The egg, these are the important things, bro. Smells and tastes all right. The tomato is fresh, it's cold. The bread is shit. The patty was one of the, you know, like the full cheap patties. Is there anything that stands out wrong with it? The bread was a bit dry. The, the bread felt old. The rest of the burger, cafeteria burgers, it's what you get. $21 for that burger. Well, coffee club, Macquarie Park. What are you thinking? $21 for that. But anything other than that, no, nah, I don't know. Let's try the chicken burger now. The bread is the same, cuz. The bread's a bit, they're doing something wrong with it. All right, so this one is just a slice of cheese and a big schnitzel type of thing. Is it real chicken? Mm, yeah, I think so. It's hard to tell. Oh, it's got mustard on it. Tomato in the top and mustard in the middle. That's very unusual for a schnitzel burger, chicken burger, mustard. Tastes all right. That's all right. Good amount of sauce. 
The lettuce on it, I don't know, guys. I can't tell. You can't tell if it was fresh because it just got monstered by the schnitzel. It definitely ain't cold, but it's warm lettuce, so it's like it got warmed up with. I don't like that, but you know, burgers we bite. That got a two star rating after heaps of rating. Two star. Like it doesn't get worse than that. I don't even. Th I think it's the lowest rated restaurant legitimately on 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 Google. You got to order it through menu log. It's like a backdoor thing that Coffee Club have going on down at Macquarie Park. Does it deserve two? No, it doesn't, cuz. It doesn't deserve two. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not here saying oh this is mad this and that. But at the end of the day, I'm looking for Sydney's worst burger store. The chicken one was sixteen fifty, but it tasted all right. The chicken could have been way faker than that. Way faker. There was a lot of chicken on it. The mustard tomato combo tasted nice. I've, that's more of like a hot dog thing. It tasted good. It, in fact, I actually learned something. Chicken schnitzels on on like sandwiches in mustard cars is hectic. Do I think they deserve two? No, I don't. Do I think they deserve four out of ten? Of course not, cuz. It is what it is. I think the ratings are unjust. I redeem it. Redeem, cuz. Redeem. Where are we off to now? Sorry, cameraman, I forgot. Wahlburgers. So it's owned by Mark Wahlberg. You talking shit or not? Because I'm going to say go. this. All right, we're going to Wahlburgers, that circular key back in the 80s. So I asked, they reckon it's owned by Mark Wahlberger. So I said, let's go, brother. Mark Wahlburgers, let's cut. All right, here we go. Let's cut, brother. Look where we are. They got the mad posse, but apparently they're the, apparently they're the bodgy burgers. Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberger. You got bodgy burgers. We're coming to Sasha, brother. You'll change. Look at the sunset, eh? At least we got the view to make up for it. Let's cut. So I forgot to say the reviews. It's a 3.3 on Google. It's all about the food. Overpriced, bodgy food. They claim, look where they are. They think they're mad, and they're not. That's the yarn. They think they're mad, and they're not, cuz. That's the yarn. I'm at the city, lad. I'm at Sydney city, cuz. This is my backyard, Adelaide. This is where I grew up. These are my hoods. Spotted it. Here it is. Marky Wahlburger. I'm coming for you, mate. Can I get the Fiesta Burger? Fiesta Burger? Yeah. Jen's Chicken, please. Those two burgers. One of the waitresses just walked past me and goes, we're well, doing Spanian, right? Oh, in their way. Like, hello, Spanian. And I go, like, I hope they're not onto me, lad. Bah! Run, run, hey, get you again, bro. I, I full went casual out there. I thought they were red hot onto me. Let's go. Bro, there's 400 gay helicopters everywhere. Can you hear them up in the sky, bro? Like, the place is, it's all right inside. The location, well, because it's the two burgers. But having said that, look, I haven't even opened the food yet. I got their good chicken burger, their good beef burger, and a bottle of water, $42. Yeah, all right, look, $42, two burgers, no sides, just two burgers. Yeah, it's the, look where it is. You're gonna go to Opera House and buy burgers in a restaurant and say, this is the $20, like, it's supposed to be. Lucky it doesn't cost $35 a burger. I'm gonna say that off the bat. So my opinion, if you're gonna go and eat there and you're gonna complain about a $20 burger, I'll give yourself an uppercut around here. Come see old SPN and your slate. I'll give you a nice knee to the tea flat if you want. I can express posted to you anywhere in Australia. Guaranteed next day delivery as long as I drop in the yellow box before 6 p.m. Let's see. Marky Mark. Hey. Marky Wahlburger, what a one day. This is a Fiesta burger, that's the beef one, and Jen's chicken. You know what I noticed? All the burgers were throw off meats. They're like one of those people, cuz. He's a globalist. I had to go down the list to find real meat. I had to ask. I said, is this proper beef? Like an animal, like a dead animal. I want a dead animal on my burger, all right? That's the beef one. No, jalapenos. No way. I'm not gonna say nothing yet, let's get to it. That's the chicken burger with their fried onions. This is a $20 beef burger. It's not a massive burger, but let's see if they got it correct. Like I said, I don't like massive burgers. Make the burger normal size and get it right. Yum. Yum. Bro, even the salad on the bottom layer, look on the bottom layer. There's diced lettuce, onion, and capsicum, diced in a sauce on the bottom layer, and it's zesty, like it's dressed. Crispy, fresh jalapeno. The meat tastes nice too. The bread could use an upgrade. The bread is it's too white. It's too white. It's like fake bread, you know, super white, super soft bread that's just all fake bread, rubbish. It's too much that. But having said that, the burger's mad. 
Because that's my brother. No tissues. No tissues. Huh? We can have issues. Oh, this is their chicken burger, but that's mad. Spicy, it's spicy, proper jalapenos. That's a mad burger. Well, the chicken burger full of onion rings. Look how many onion rings are on there. It's proper battered. They got a couple sauces. So like a dark brown one and a, and a, and a mayo based one, a light one. Mad piece. Well, wow, look at the chicken. It's a big chicken breast or a chicken thigh. A mad thing. Cars, what are you talking about, Google reviews? Bad haters, if I taste this and it's nice, someone's gonna bash cuz. Oh, man. Baba, this chicken. Look at the chicken. Wow. Baba, what a burger. Look at the fill of the chicken. Look at, look at. Man. Good quality chicken. Cooked well, it's not dry. Seasoned nice. There's nice marinade on it. They even seed nice. Like the outside's a little bit crispy. They didn't give tissues, but so. I'm giving it, nah, nah, I'm joking. One more bite of one of them. I don't know which one's better. The chicken burger, well. Look at that, cars. Look how many onions. Marky Mark. I'll lay you off, brother. I would have to knock you out, I promise you. Brother, them burgers? War burgers? That's what it's called, war burger circular gate? Gun burgers. What are you carrying on about, you clowns? Hey, hey, what are you carrying on about? Saying a food's bodgy or it's overpriced. You go to Circular K, you go to a burger store at Circular K and cry because a burger is $19.60. Where do you live, cuz? Like, where do you live to think that? Don't eat there. Go eat in, in Punch Bowl. Go eat the back of Lidcombe if you want a burger for six bucks. Like, true, wake up for yourself. The burgers tasted mad. Both of them were hectic. They were just but mad. It's redeemed, cuz. Redeemed. Redeemed, cuz. What else can I say? There's nothing else I have to say. They're mad. Bro, I could slip them on Sydney's best burger. I don't know, we're pushing it a bit there. But anyway, where are we off to now, bro? We're across the bridge, slide and shake, neutral bay. Let's see if it's another redeemed or if it's a full OG, brother. Let's cut. Here we are, bro, neutral bay, slide and shake, right? The complaints about this place, putrid food. It's all food related, this one. They reckon full moldy buns. They're giving out buns with mold on them. What's going on? Let's suss it out. I'll give you a kick in the face, cuz. Here it is, slide and shake, shake and slide. Bro, the rich area, neutral bay. You're rich, but you don't know how to cook, do you, you'll change. Look how random their decorations are. Baba, I'm confused, cuz. Only way this, that. Let's go here, cuz. Nice and lit. In front of that ear and throat surgeon, listen. I went in there, right, straight off the bat. The place was bodgy, lad. Like, looked bodge. Like, it was just looked and smelt shit. It looked like, I'm not gonna lie, like a dirty place. You just see, like, their decorations, the weirdest shit. Their decorations, it's a burger store. You know, like, kids' apple juices? They've, got, like, put them, like, their decorations, and some of them are rotten. And there's, like, lollies from, like, 40 years ago. This is weird, cuz. The place had a bad smell. The shop were bodge. And I walked out the front, I thought, why is this shop so bad? I looked at the shop next to it. The shop next to it, they're all shit. Like they all got the feel like as if their shop's on Parramatta Road. For two burgers and a bottle of water, $41. You may as well say 40 bucks for two burgers. Everywhere I've gone, whether it was that bodgy place at Macquarie Park, 40 bucks almost. Circular Key, 40 bucks. Neutral Bay, 40 bucks. It's just the norm to, anyway, let's suss it out. All right, let me suss the bread out first. Let's get this out the way. No mold. One, one random tomato, I don't know, that's random. Whoa, that's a lot of bacon, brother. That's a lot of bacon. Bro, look how much bacon. There's a meat patty, and then 600 bacons again. 7,000 bacons. Next minute, there's 12,000 bacons, cuz. That's a random burger, lad. Full on the bottom, nothing but bacon. Bacon? I don't know if I'm turning myself off because I was in the store, I can't tell. Nothing but bacon all down the bottom. It's just sus. The bacon's just sus. I don't know, cuz. Look, is the bacon supposed to be that dark? Why is it that dark? Look. It's just really, really cooked, right? Oh, there's two patties. 
600 bike, 7 million bikers and two parties. And I don't know what the top. What is that? That's a spicy sauce. Wow. How's the meat? The meat's all right. It's just, look how much bacon, cuz. I can't get over it. Like, what is that? It's not a well thought through burger. It doesn't taste nice either. Like, I don't, I don't know why there's one tomato, one little tomato in the middle, and then three random pickles. It's just like, I don't know, brother. I don't, I don't like that burger whatsoever. <laughs> brother, I don't even have to eat that to know that that's a shit burger. I got the, that's just straight mayonnaise. As soon as I, I lifted the lid, I smell it. The, the mayonnaise just pissed me. Chicken. Lettuce, mayo, don't know what that orange stuff is there, and one tomato again. Let's suss out the bread. Bread's all right, the bread's fresh. The bread's fresh tonight. No mushrooms, no Smurfs villages growing on there. <laughs> now you see little Smurfs running around on there, bro. Let's try this chicken. It's a bodgy burger. It's bodgy, bro, it's bodgy, it's bodgy. Look, the store, in store, is a joke. The look, it's just dirty and old, it's weird. You got rotten juice on your cabinet. Instead of like something that's decoration, you got rotten juice and fake banana lollies from the 70s, like out of a show bag from the old Easter show at Fox Studios. Wake up to yourself. The food is dear. Two burgers, 40 bucks. What are you, gourmet burgers? The burgers for that price, they thought through badly. It's like, you know how I feel when people don't know how to make burgers and they open a burger store. That's what it is, cuz. There's an art, there's a craft to it. It's funny because the first place, Bite Burgers, stupid fucking Macquarie Park, whatever your name is, get a proper name that people can remember. Even though it was like cafeteria style burgers, the worst burgers in the world, all right? It was low quality meat. But the rest of the burger was thought through. There was a lot of ingredients, a lot of them, they were fresh. This one is like, it, they just thought through so badly. Imagine just getting a chicken fillet, putting just heaps of mayo from Coles and a slice of cheese. That's what that is. The other one is just bacon. It's just rubbish, cuz. There was nothing about the food that was moldy. There was nothing about the food that was stale. They're just shit burgers, cuz. Like, get your recipes together. I can't redeem this place. Bodge, lad. This place is bodge. What's it called? Slip and slide? Slide and shakes? Sliding burgers, burgers and slides. What's it called, brother? Mate, you need to figure out your marketing too, brother. You're getting all one stars for your marketing. Slide and burgers. Slide and shakes. Slide and shakes. Full oh, bodge, that's it. The next place now, Burger Barrel, the final place, cuz. Coogee, all the way to Coogee, let's cut. Brother. What about these clowns? Bodgy Burger Barrel, yeah, that shit. You closed down five years ago and get replaced by these idiots. You don't even turn off your, you still say you're open on Google five years later. We go onto the Instagram page, last post was 2018, laters. Where's the other Bodgy place? Where's the one rated under after? Big, Big Daddy, Daddy Burgers in Newtown. It was one just above this, so, so God, this closed down. Fix up your Google five years later. Newtown, we're off, get out of here. Well, that was a big round and about mission, wasn't it? But we're here anyway. We're in Newtown, the back of the shops, up there to the left, Big Daddy's Burgers. You're not doing too well. You're equally as bad as that other place. At least you're still open, I hope. They reckon the food's bodgy. There's been allegations that it might be microwave. Feels like it's microwave. That's old, bodgy food, right? The complaints are all about the bodgy food. I'm trying to select those ones. Cause you know there's those complaints, the deliveries are late. That doesn't affect us, right? Because I'm not getting delivered. Secret cam, we're back on. Oh. Hey, how are you? Right, good, how are you? Yeah, good, good, good. Back online. Mate, he's spinning out, snapping his neck at me. Here we are, we got it, guys. No way, what are you doing, lad? In the car, he's spinning out, bro. Let's over it, lad. Let's run, bro. What do you want, they, lad? He's off. <laughs> I love how I always order food like I just robbed the bank. I don't know why, cuz. I'm just used to it, lad. Let's ouch. So listen, this is the weird thing. They only have beef burgers. And you design your own burgers there. So all you want is one, two, or three patty. And then you gotta pick the extras. So what's the point of getting two burgers? It's all the same. I just pick in like different combos. So what I've done is I got one burger, double patty, and I tried to design what would be like a works burger. 
onion rings, pickles, egg, tomato. They're all extras they add on. So what I did is to make up for it, instead of getting two burgers, I got a combo, chips and a bottle of water. $26.50, I think the burger, the way I designed it, ended up being $17. But let's see, cuz, I went in there, it looks all right. The lady sent me look like she didn't want to work there. She was pretty like, you know what I mean? Like she was Asian, but still she was very unanimated, even for an Asian, you know what I mean? What, is that racist? A bit. Nice, how's that racist, cuz? You know how they're not animated? Wake up to yourself. All right, let's suss it out, cuz. The burger's small, cuz. Out of all the burgers, it's a small size. Look at that. It's the size of your anus when you're watching the ghost hunts. Nah, and all jokes aside, it's small like that. It's a little bit high. Oh, the onion rings are like that. That's weird. Two onion rings, uh, an egg, two beef patties, pickles, two tomatoes. Looks all right. It looks all right. The bread, it's okay. The meat's good. That's a good burger. Sorry, I'm sorry to spoil it. I know you just want to hear everything's bodgy. I'm chucking it, I'm punching on with everyone. I don't know, guys, it's a good burger. I'm not even hungry. It's my fourth burger. I hate burgers' lives. I can't lie. I can't lie, it's a good burger. When you go there, do that combo. Onion rings, egg. That's the burger. Tell me she... Oh, someone's getting stabbed. No one's getting stabbed, bro. Relax, all right? Everything I asked for there, you know what? This might be my favorite meat patty out of all of them. You gotta understand, guys, like this food here, I can't accept that. To me, this doesn't taste like it was in a microwave. Nothing about this tasted under any quality that I would expect. Everything was fresh, the buns were fresh, the chips were hot. All the things that people complained about, I didn't find to be true. So, what comes next, cuz? Redeemed. Big Daddy's Burgers in Newtown, redeemed. But I don't know what people are complaining about. When people complain about the prices, look, I agree with you. Everywhere we went, the burgers were all 20 bucks. $20 burgers, 18, 19, 20. Is that the thing nowadays? I don't know, cuz. You know, like, remember the days? Remember $8 was a burger? $9 was a burger. Then a burger was $10. Like, fuck, $10 for a burger. And then $12 for a burger. It's like, what? I remember it being $12 for a burger, $12.50. And me thinking in my head, that's new for a burger. The world's going crazy. Now, I didn't even notice until we filmed this episode that it's absolutely normal for places to charge somewhere between $17 and $21 for a burger. Like, what the f is going on, cuz? Really? Really? Like, is, does it really cost that much? I know mince is like $8 for a big thing like that. Woolies, how much is your lettuce? Like, I don't understand how your burgers are costing more than Ah, you're pushing $2, $2.50 to make, $18, $20, like, come on, man. But other than that, my job isn't to complain about the prices. That's the, I'm just pointing it out. The idiots at Coffee Club, because it is what you expect it to be. That's there for that price. It's cafeteria type meat, but all the ingredients were what they're supposed to be. They were fresh. It, I, like I said, it wasn't good, it was bodge, but I didn't accept the negative reviews were the same as what I experienced, so that got redeemed. The second place we went, Wahlburgers, cuz it was mad. What are you complaining about? Pa, copper backhand, cuz. Pa! I'll give you a nice backhand, cuz. Wahlburgers was nice. That was the winner of tonight. The third place that we went to, Neutral Bay, that's no redeem there, cuz. I didn't enjoy that. The experience I got in the store made me not wanna eat, I'm sorry, made me not wanna eat the burger. I was sus eating the bacon, I didn't wanna eat it, it was weird. Bad combos, just bad ingredients. Anyway, that's it. That's worse burger cars. We got a few redeems out there, bro. I like giving redeems because I like giving places a chance to prove themselves against their negative Google reviews. Because some people like us. Some people are bad Karens, bro. You know what I mean? They just want to complain about everything. It wrecks people's businesses. So old Anyos is out in the streets redeeming people. If you don't get a redemption, then learn this lesson. Somebody send this clip so matey's in Neutral Bay at that Slippy Shake place. So come on, mate, clean the place up, learn how to cook burgers. We're still friends. We all love ya, right? We don't hate ya, you know? We're just upset, that's all. 